Is the New Zealand dollar set to rally 240 pips against the US dollar? That's exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video. Hi everyone, my name is Justin Bennett with Daily Price Action, and in today's video we're going to talk about what buyers need to do to send the NZD USD possibly 240 pips higher. I'm going to show you what key level needs to break, as well as some resistance levels to keep an eye on on the way up. Let's get started right now. Quick disclaimer that today's video is for educational purposes only. All views are my opinion and are not intended as investment advice. Forex is a high reward, high risk business, and you should not trade with borrowed money or money you cannot afford to lose. See the description of this video for the full disclaimer. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you get notified every time I post these videos. So I've talked about the NZD USD, the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar several times in recent weeks. And more specifically, we've been keeping an eye on this potential inverse head and shoulders. So notice how we have the left shoulder over here. We then have the head down here around 6,200. And we thought that this was going to be the right shoulder. However, this rally attempt right here failed at neckline resistance. So notice how this neckline extends from this high and also touches this high right here. Notice too how this failed attempt carved this bearish engulfing candle at that resistance level. So that triggered this, this push lower into 63.20, which also served as resistance back through this area. Now, over the weekend, I mentioned how just because we have what looks like a second right shoulder, so here was the first one, and this low makes the second one. However, I would include both of these as the right shoulder right now. So on Saturday, I mentioned how just because we've had this rotation lower, that this right here does not negate this inverse head and shoulders pattern. I also pointed out how this pattern is a possible or potential pattern. It is not confirmed yet. So in order to confirm it, buyers need to close the pair above that neckline. So notice back here, we saw a retest and an intraday rally above this level on two consecutive days, but the pair never did close back above this level. So we had this close below it. And of course this was the bearish engulfing candle where it closed way down here. So it's still gonna take a daily close above this level, which we haven't had yet, to confirm this possible bullish reversal pattern. Now, if you read Monday's post on the NZD CAD, you know that repeated retests of a key level like this can be a sign of an imminent breakout. So the NZD CAD was testing that 8,500 area and the NZD USD is also repeatedly testing this neckline. So notice how even after carving this bearish signal right here, buyers are not backing down. Yes, the pair came down here to 63.20, but since then we saw this surge higher sideways movement and now we're seeing another retest of that neckline around 6420 slash 30. So all in all, the fact that the pair continues to retest that neckline is a sign of potential strength in my opinion. Remember too that the NZD USD is coming off a multi-year trend line. So I talked about this in the October 31st video and we have to head out to the monthly chart to see it. But ever since the 2000 lows, the NZD USD has carved this uptrend. So notice how we have this, these lows through this area. So 2000 to 2001. And we also had this retest here in 2009. And notice what's happened recently. So this was the Oct October low right here that did retest this multi-year trend line. So combine that with the potential inverse head and shoulders we're seeing, and you start to get a clear idea of the bullish potential here. So whether or not we see the pair rally like we saw back here is yet to be seen. Of course, this was an incredibly aggressive rally back in 2009 and into 2010, but just the fact that we are testing this multi-year support level, a 20-year level in fact, is worth keeping an eye on. But as far as the more immediate path forward, I do think it's going to come down to what happens here on the daily time frame. So just to wrap up, 
it is going to take a daily close above this level. And keep in mind that I use New York close charts so that every 24 hour session opens and closes at 5 p.m. Eastern. So that gives me five equal 24 hour periods every single week compared to some of the other brokers out there that offer six day candles every single week. So you need a New York close chart in order to trade price action correctly. So see the comments section of this video for a link to the charts that I use. So if we do see that New York close at 5 p.m. Eastern above this 6420 slash 30 level, that would expose 6490, which served as support back through this area with a close above that, taking on the 6580 slash 90 region. Notice how we have this low back here, as well as this low and this high. Now the measured objective here, based on the height of this pattern, which is about 240 pips or so, the measured objective here comes in right around 6660, possibly 6670. So notice how we also have this low right here. It then served as resistance through this area and also support right here. Now the pair did chop around, closed below it, closed back above it, and then below it again. But that 6660 slash 70 area is going to be one to watch as it is the measured objective for the height of this possible inverse head and shoulders pattern. So a daily close above 6420 slash 30 would confirm the inverse head and shoulders pattern that we've seen play out here. However, if we see bearish price action form like we saw right back here, that could re-expose that 6320 support area. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave your comment below and be sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.